In this video, I'm going to talk about 1031 exchanges, what it is, how to use it, and also the biggest mistake you do not want to make. Section 1031 of the IRS tax code allows investors in order to sell their investment property, take the proceeds of that property, and then exchange it for another one, all while deferring taxes. Now, this is an amazing part of owning real estate. One term that I heard that I really loved was swap until you drop. Now, what that means is you can live in a primary residence now, and when you decide to buy another one, you can convert this, uh, your current uh, primary residence into a rental, or you can just buy an outright rental property while you live in your current home. Now, single family homes are really great for appreciation. So you may want to purchase another single family, ride the appreciation wave, and then later exchange it for another single family that has um, more appreciation. Over time, you can own multiple properties and your goals may change. Maybe instead of appreciation, now you want cash flow and commercial investments may potentially give you more cash flow than the single family residence that you currently own. So the, it's different per investment vehicle and it and things change while your life changes. So you can keep on going and swapping properties that way. As long as it's not your primary, they're all considered like kind. So you can go anywhere from raw land and dirt all the way to large commercial uh, buildings or apartment complexes. Those are all types of properties that you can go ahead and keep on exchanging. Now, the biggest mistake that I want to make sure um, that people do not make is not planning ahead when you are selling your investment property. So if you do plan to sell your investment property and not do a swap, you do want to make sure you have an idea of what your taxes are going to be if there are gains, because you're not going to be hit at the close of escrow. You're going to be hit during the next year when you're filing your taxes. So you don't want to be surprised, accidentally use that money and not have had the tax received for you. Now, if you are going to do an exchange, you want to make sure that you plan ahead as well, because you need to set up the exchange before you close escrow. You cannot close escrow on your uh, on your property and then decide that you want to do exchange after if you did not set it up before. I really hope you found this was helpful. If you have any questions about it, I have contacts that are 1031 exchange experts, commercial brokers, or residential realtors who focus on investment. I'd be happy to make connections for you if you need them. All right, and I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.